Anthony the Matador Joshua has responded to Beyonce Wilder's criticism after his dominating, his schooling, his teacher-like performance over Andy Pizza Ruiz. He said to follow, well actually, before I give you the quotes, let me tell you what Wilder's been saying. Wilder's come out and said, Oh man, uh, oh, if it was me in there, I would have knocked Ruiz out, uh, just like I knocked out 90 year old Luis Ortiz, uh, if it was me in there, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I would do, cause I haven't been in there and done it yet, so I'm gonna speculate on what I probably would do. Uh, oh, oh, my name's Deontay Wilder, and uh, I've never fought Ruiz, but uh, I'm gonna tell you what I probably would do, even though I'm on the same, I'm under the same camp as Andy Ruiz, so I should really just fight him rather than speculate, but instead, I'll let Anthony Joshua do all the fighting, I'll just sit there and speculate on Instagram. So we just heard there from Wilder, as always, telling you what he could or would or should do, how, I'd, how he would do it. Bro, let's get something straight. You fought a shot, useless, half assed pressure fighter in Bermain's Tavern, and you went life and death. You, what, what planet are you on? You fought the worst. The abs People talk about Charles Martin. Charles Martin would box rings around Bermain's Tavern. Let's call a spade a spade. Wilder fought the slowest feet. People think Ruiz's feet are slow. You wait till you see Bermain's Tavern. Slowest feet, slowest hands, no head movement, stiff. S Joe Joyce, who we know is already stiff, Joe Joyce boxed Bermain's Tavern's dreadlocks off. That's what happened to him. Million percent. He said it himself. He said, I went in there with Bermain's Tavern and I boxed his dreadlocks clean off his head. Do we need to hear any more? No, we don't. So let's get something straight. Wilder, you went in there with the worst pressure fighter in history, the worst fighter in history in Bermain's Tavern, and you went life and death, 50-50, 12 rounds, couldn't hurt him, couldn't put him down. But yet, you think you're going to go in there with Ruiz and do what? Ruiz, if he comes in in shape, in, in, regardless in fact, better head, head movement, hand speed, all-time great level hand speed, all-time great level combination punching, all-time great level pressure. All of which you've never been up against. You've been in there with a whole load of bums. Look at the Lewis Ortiz fight recently. Ortiz brought about 10% of the pressure that Andy Ruiz brings. And yet, for them first three rounds, until Lewis Ortiz's old ass legs gave out, Wilder, was, Wilder couldn't do anything for the first three rounds. And Ruiz, and Ortiz weren't even pressuring. He was doing little tiny spurts. What do you think Ruiz is going to do when he's throwing five punch combinations? Not one or two. Like, 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 like Louis Ortiz. Dinosaur Ortiz was throwing. Anyway, let's cut to what AJ clapped back with. AJ said the following. That's Wilder's opinion, Joshua told The Athletic. A lot of people don't have a good bone in their body to say a positive thing anyway. I outboxed the heavyweight champion of the world for 12 rounds and won every Ras Clark round. I don't think I lost a round, maybe one. I come in there with a great game plan, I'm successful, isn't that good enough? You can't box to keep everyone happy, you have to box for the win. And I feel like when I'm at home celebrating, he's here talking negativity. Negative energy breeds failure, so I'm just going to keep a positive mindset and build on that victory. Joshua is now keen to take the WBC King Wilder in 2020 after he faces his rematch with Tyson Fury in February. With or without Wilder, we're still going to break records. The thing's still going to be shut down, Joshua added. But if Wilder really wants to put his name down in the history books, I think he should come and see us. That's what, you, that's what we do know, by the way. That what, and history books? The only, thing, the only thing close to the history books that Wilder's ever been near is the fact that Luis Ortiz is Guinness Book of Records for his age. That's it, yeah? Luis Ortiz is the oldest man in history to step in the ring. That's the only bit of fame. Deontay Wilder has the Guinness Book of Records for knocking out the oldest man in heavyweight, in world, in fact, not heavyweight, in boxing history. There's never been a man knocked out as old as Luis Ortiz. That is the Guinness Book of Record that Wilder holds. If he wants to get a proper Guinness Book of Record, if he wants to get a proper world championship, come see AJ. Because that to me is a bit of a gimmick. 
Oh, man, uh, I've got the Guinness Book of Record. I've got the world record for knocking out the oldest man in history. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. You heard him there, celebrating it. That's what he wants to be known as. Wilder is content with being known as the man who knocked out the oldest man stepping at ring. That's embarrassing, in my opinion, but you, you LDBC fans seem to enjoy it, so do your thing, whatever makes you happy. Anyway, before I end this video, I want to break down, as always, the actual quotes, because... You know the YB, the YB is very cerebral, yeah? So AJ starts off by saying, that was what's Wilder's opinion, but then he goes on to say, a lot of people have a good, uh, a lot of people don't have a positive thing to say. Anyway, I outboxed heavyweight champion for 12 rounds. I don't think I lost a round, maybe one. I come in there with a great game plan. I'm successful. Isn't that enough? This was the bit I wanted to get to. He says, you can't box to keep everyone happy. You have to box for the win. And I feel like when I'm at home celebrating, he's there talking about negativity. And that's, this is what I've been saying for the longest time, especially recently about Beyonce Wilder. You'll notice he's like a chick. He's like a side chick. He's always wimbling in the background. It's like... That, that, sum, that sums up Wilder in himself, to be fair, because AJ is the main chick. AJ's like the 9 out of 10 in the club. Wilder's like that 5 out of 10 big thing that comes along and tries to get... You know, you know what? You know once we go to the club, yeah? And there'll be a group of, there'll be a group of girls there, and there'll be the, the nice-looking ones, and then there'll be the big things, yeah? The round things, the Andy Ruiz things that'll be sitting there. And when, they're, when you're about to draw one of the piff things, the big thing will come over and try and kill the vibe. Oh, let's go home. Oh, your mum's calling. Some, like, some, some dead vibe like that. That's one of them ones. That's Wilder for you. He'll come along. Everyone's ages on, ages on his nice wave. Age is on his 10 out of 10 wave, and Wilder's there in the background saying, No, oh, let's go home, oh, I'm not feeling well, I'm trying to kill the vibe off. That's Wilder for you, yeah? Side chick, 100% on the side. He sits on the side with his C-level, D-level Hollywood gal them. That's what he has. What? J Jarrell Miller, 50 Cent, everyone's been with Wilder's ting. That's for another day anyway. Listen, coming back to this. Bottom line, Wilder, all he has to do is sit there. And that's the problem, because he doesn't have his, his own history, AJ's gone down in history now. Two-time world champion. One twelve. Not only is he two time, he won it, winning twelve rounds. When has Wilder won any? Wilder lost six rounds against Ortiz. Now, to be fair, I'm not actually one of them people who comes along and says, "Oh, he was losing every round." Because I don't really care if he won the fight. You won the fight, but still, the facts remain the same. Who is Ortiz? You, people forget that knocking him out. The, my issue isn't the fact he lost six rounds. I couldn't care less. My issue is. He he was in there with Ortiz. People really they get they get mixed up and they talk about things that are irrelevant. Whether Ortiz won rounds is irrelevant. Wilder should never have been in the ring with him. Wilder should be in there with people like Ruiz. Anyone who's in form and on it now, Ruiz. Let's see when Wilder sets that fight up. Let's see it. This, but they're both on the PBC side. What's going on? Why is this? look back at Wilder's history? He's not. He don't fight no one. Even Kowalowski. I don't rate him at all, but at least Kowalowski's got a bit of youth on him. Who does Wilder fight? But Main Stavern, old. Luis Ortiz, old. Brazil, useless. They're either old or useless. And, the, and if not all three at once, they're old, useless, and inactive. Every single part, they are. that's what they are. And people wonder why Wilder don't sell. Well, that's why. People don't want to see old, inactive, useless people boxing. It's not actually an embarrassment to call them boxers. Calling Dominic Brazil a boxer is an embarrassment, in my opinion. How he turned up that night was shocking. He looked like he was—he looked like he was fighting in custard. It literally, it was—it was embarrassing to see. And I'm not being disrespectful to boxers. That's what it was. You can call it what you want. Go back and watch Dominic Brazil fight, and you tell me that there is an athlete. He looked like he was fighting in treacle, and that's not being disrespectful. That's calling a spade a spade. And then. If, 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 I talk about Brazil as if this is kind of one of Wilder's warm-up fights. He fought Brazil six months ago. Do you understand that? That was Wilder is fighting a top 200 fighter in his five year into his reign. It's an embarrassment, and that's why he's on the sideline hating because he don't have no history of his own. He doesn't have any. He's known for beating people who he's already beaten. Who <laughs> he fights people twice who were nothing in the first place. Yeah. Wilder isn't rematching Vitaly Klitschko, who he beat the first time. Do you know what I mean? If you beat, if you rematch Vitaly Klitschko after you beat him, that's what it is. If you rematch Fury after you beat him, as an example, I don't even rate Fury. But if you, you know what I mean, I can respect that rematch. But rematching Ortiz, what the, f what's going on here? And by the way, you went, you went life and death with Fury anyway. 
So you can't. It's not like he, it's not like you blessed Fury with a rematch. He went life and death with Fury. So he earned that. Ortiz, you knocked him out. What are you doing rematching the man you knocked out? Please explain. Oh man, oh, oh, I wanted, I wanted to bless Ortiz. Oh, so what? So you wanted to bless Ortiz. Meanwhile, AJ's out there fighting fresh young champions who have their own. Let's think of this. I love to think of boxing, or even most sports. On a FIFA basis, or like, a, not a FIFA basis, I mean, I like to think of but sports like a computer game basis, meaning that AJ's out here fighting people with all-time great level stats. Ruiz has all-time great level combination punching, all-time great level speed. They're two stats he definitely does have, factually. All-time, in my opinion, he's got an all-time um, all time level gas tank as well. You'd never see, all, and probably an all-time level chin. Four categories Ruiz is all-time great at. You don't never see him blowing. You don't never see him get, getting hurt with shots either. To be fair to him, even when he got, even when he got hit with a Ghostbuster, his his legs were underneath him. That's the kind of caliber Edge's in there with. Ortiz, on the other hand, what name me one all-time great level stat Ortiz has apart from his age in the ring. That's the only one he ticks in terms of yeah. If you looked, if you if you plotted all of the people in boxing who have ever been in the ring, Ortiz is top of the top. He's top of the list. But apart from that, apart from his age. Apart from being the oldest man in history to be in a ring, that's the only stat he's the best at. Is, is, that, a, is that a stat you want to be, you know, you want to be proud of? You want to be known for? Oh, I knocked, I knocked out the oldest man in history. The oldest, I knocked out the oldest man to step in the ring. Come on, man. That's embarrassing. But once again, that's why you'll always hear Wilder talking about AJ. AJ's doing real history, knocking out real, or sorry, stopping, or whatever you want to call it, got winning 12 rounds against real, all-time great level stats. Wilder fighting retirement category people.